What's up guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. If you have a Mark III Supra, chances are your dome light is either dim as shit or it doesn't work. And in my case, it doesn't work. And this is actually a really common problem with this car. So I actually have Ron from Yoda Connectors coming up today. He offers a kit that will fix your dome light if it's not working and upgrade your bulbs at the same time. So if your dome light is still working, but it's dim as shit, this kit is still for you. But if your dome light isn't working and you can't figure it out, this kit is definitely for you. So, so I'm gonna have Ron come up here and help me get this thing working with this kit. But the first thing that I'm going to do is pull this out because it does need to be removed. You gotta take this cover off. And I guess that would explain why my light's not working, at least on this side, there's no bulb. But we're gonna be putting the Yoda Connectors kit in, right Ron? Oh yeah. You gotta take this cover off. And I guess that would explain why my light's not working, at least on this side, there's no bulb. But we're gonna be putting the Yoda Connectors kit in, right Ron? Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. So there's two screws that hold this thing in. You have to remove. And then just unplug the connector. Okay, so here is the kit that you get from Yoda Connectors. You get two insanely ridiculous bright LED panels, and you get this center punch. Now if your dome light is not working, chances are it's these rivets that are right in here. And this punch right here is the perfect size. Ron, Ron Source is the perfect size punch that you need to punch on these rivets. Now, for whatever reason, over time, these rivets lose contact, and that's why your dome light will not work. So this punch will allow you to hit those rivets, punch them down, and make contact, and then the dome light will work. So we're going to show you how to do that. You need to take off this panel here. It's two more little Phillips screws. All right, let's get this piece off. Don't really need to remove it, just fold it up like this. So these are the rivets right here that you need to hit with the center punch. You need to put something on the back so you can distribute the load and not break everything. Use a hammer and hit these rivets and we'll show you what we're going to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this T40 Torx bit and place it on one of the rivets. This will be the one closest to the rear. We're going to flip it over and Ron's going to hold that for me. Take your punch, put it on the rivet and give it a couple taps. And that will crush the rivet, making good contact again. And we're going to move the Torx bit to the other rivet. Put our center punch on. And now we should have full connection. So we can put our bulbs in and it should work flawlessly now. Okay, so what we're going to do, so we can do a good side-by-side -side comparison. I already have an LED bulb in this side, which I thought was an upgrade when I did this at the time but then it stopped working. Um, so we're gonna put just one of these LED panels in here and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and see how much better it actually is. So the light will come with this connector and you just install this like it's a normal bulb. Line up, line up the little nipples with the connector, twist it to lock it in place. Before you stick this to the housing, what you should do is reconnect this in the car, turn the light on and make sure it lights up because LEDs are polar, they're not bipolar. So you could have this in backwards and if you turn this on and it doesn't light up, you need to pull this out, rotate it 180 degrees and stick it back in. We're gonna test this before we stick it on. Let's go. Um. So we just confirmed in the car that it does light on. When we first connected it, it did not turn on. And so what we did, we just, disconnected this black connection here, rotated it, plugged it back in, and now it's working. So we're gonna pull off this sticky backing, and you wanna make sure that this surface is nice and clean. Use rubbing alcohol to clean it. If you don't, it might not stick that well. 
that's all you need to do. Pull it back a little bit, stick it on, and now this can go back in the car and do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so before you put this back in the car, make sure you reinstall the two screws right here on the little switchboard. Then you can plug it in, get it back up into place, and reinstall your two screws. Uh, Guinness is almost done with their new brewery. I think they're gonna have a, they, they have a full. Okay, so we got this installed. Our original LED, which I thought was an upgrade at the time, works. And our super bright LED panel works. So why don't we uh, turn the lights off in here and we'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison kind of thing and show you how insane this thing actually is. Yeah. All right, Ron, see if you can turn on those lights and let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, the Yoda connector's light just makes the LED look like absolutely nothing. Turn off your LED light. So, that is the, quote, upgraded LED bulb. Uh, it doesn't really do much. Turn on your light. Oh, yes. <laughs> much, much better. Yeah. That is insane. Way, way better. No comparison. Turn off the crappy LED. So, that right there is just one of Ron's lights. Let's get the other in. And our install is done. Let's see how bright this makes the interior. All right, Ryan, we got both those lights installed. Why don't you turn on one? Yes. Let's see what it looks like with the other one. Nice. It's very bright. Very bright, insanely bright. Look at that interior. That's awesome. Hell yeah, I love it. Thank you, Ron. No problem. All right guys, we got the Yoda Connector Dome Light Kit installed in my Supra. It is ridiculously bright. Puts that LED upgrade bulb to absolute shame. Highly recommend this kit. If you do want this kit, I'll have a link in the description down below that'll take you to his website. You can purchase it. it comes with everything that you need, so highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Forever lights. <laughs>